The ball boys and girls scurry across Wimbledon's emerald grass as quickly as they can, picking up tennis balls one after another to keep the game moving. It's no surprise that young kids get into altercations with the tennis players, or even the tennis ball from time to time. In today's video, we'll be discussing the time ball boys and girls have had altercations with tennis stars. Ball to the face. Tim Henman was disqualified from the Wimbledon men's double competition in 1995, maybe the most high-profile occurrence on this list. Henman reacted violently to losing a point and struck a ball that hit Carolyn Hall in the face. Despite being 2-1 up in sets and going into a tie break in the fourth, the shot was measured at 92 miles per hour, prompting tournament referee Alan Mills to come onto the court. Henman and his partner Jeremy Bates were disqualified from the match, and Hall received a bouquet of flowers from Henman for her difficulties, despite the fact that he should have known better. Inviting a ball girl to play. Tommy Haas was midway through the opening set of a second round match when his opponent, Frenchman Michael Lodra, was forced to retire due to injury. To avoid disappointing the audience, Haas brought some of the ball boys and girls onto the court for a rally, with 15-year-old Chloe Chambers taking center stage while Chloe got the opportunity to hit with the then-world number 24, who went on to reach the semifinals. Erin Lorenzen, a fellow ball girl, had a less joyful but less memorable encounter earlier in the match. In front of 11,500 people on court one, she was flattened by Lodra while performing her responsibilities on the court. Fortunately, she was not gravely hurt, though her ego may have been bruised. A simple error. One ball boy decided that the point was already finished and ran onto the court. Right as Andy Murray looped a high shot back into the court with Victor Troike ready to smash home a winner at the net. Despite the fact that Troike dutifully placed the ball away, the point was replayed, much to the Serbian's chagrin. The timing couldn't have been worse for making such a simple error of judgment in the sixth game of the fifth set of a fourth round encounter at Roland Garros. Murray won the replayed point, but the Serb broke serve to the same game to take a 4-2 lead, much to the delight of the ball boy. Not that it mattered in the end, Murray came back from a 5-2 deficit to win the decisive set 7-5. The Federer Test Roger Federer used to be a ball boy himself when he was a kid, which is probably why, rather than allowing the ball to be retrieved from the ground, he prefers to put the ball boys and girls to the test by hitting dead balls at them to see if they can catch them. At the 2012 Australian Open semi-final against Rafael Nadal, the most well-known case of a ball boy passing Roger's test with flying colors occurred. Federer hit the ball and went to hit the ball out of his turn. As he was hitting the ball out at quite a speed, the ball boy lent over and caught the ball with one hand. It was an amazing catch, and the crowd gave him a huge round of applause after it happened. Roger Federer even cracked a smile at the ball boy after his magnificent catch. Another trip. Maria Sharapova was sitting on her bench taking a much-needed break during the 2015 Italian Open final, when her ball boy took a little tumble behind her with an umbrella in hand. The ball boy dashed over to Sharapova. He trips over his own feet and falls behind Sharapova onto the ground just as he is about to halt. She returns her gaze, but he is laying flat on the ground. The ball boy then leaps to his feet and takes the umbrella, which he uses to shade the tennis player. Again, maybe he was mesmerized by her fame and talent, so got lost in his feet. Or he's just clumsy. It's a good thing the star didn't see him fall, since it may have been embarrassing. Although I'm sure it was, because it was broadcast on international television after the match for him and the rest of the world to watch. Running straight to the wall. The second installment of our good old-fashioned person falling over collection, Nicholas Almargo, was handed a ball by a ball boy who was waiting for him to return his unwanted balls as he turned around to return to his location and bang! The ball boy trips and smashes his head up against the wall. He appears to have been engrossed with his time with Almagro and forgotten how to run. Until Nicholas Almagro glances at him, the ball boy puts his head down as if nothing happened and chuckles when Almagro looks away. Ball to the Face Part 2 Ball kids aren't mentioned much in the official Grand Slam rules except that they should help the players under the guidance of the chair umpire. This mainly refers to the collection and distribution of loose tennis balls, but it clearly extends to other areas as well, such as looking after the players' towels, obtaining their beverages, drying the court after rain, and eliminating any visiting wildlife. Dealing with animals isn't even the most dangerous component of a ball kid's job on the court. In his encounter against Federico de Bonis, Rafael Nadal 
hit an errant shot right onto the head of a ball lady. She was unharmed and was able to resume her work. Ball kids are considered permanent fixtures of the court by the International Tennis Federation, ITF, which means that if the ball hits them on the full after it is played, the ball is considered out, as per Rule 13. The ball was out in this case, and the poor girl's face was left with a beautiful mark, though Nadal did check on her after the hit to make sure she was okay. Sitting on the job. Rain delays are, without a doubt, the most boring and inconvenient aspect of tennis. That's why, when one of Novak Djokovic's French Open matches was called off, he decided to make a new acquaintance by inviting one of the ball boys to sit with him. The ball boy stood behind Djokovic, shielding him from the rain with an umbrella. The tennis player then offered the ball boy to sit next to him on the bench. Djokovic then exchanged the umbrella for the tennis racket, allowing the ball boy to keep his famed tennis racket while Djokovic held the umbrella. To the astonishment of the gathering, the Serb even offered his surprised and hesitant new acquaintance a drink. This is definitely an altercation the ball boy will never forget as it's rather a special moment. A bloody towel. In Friday night's spectacular five-set victory, Nick Kygrios' decision not to ask a ball boy to take his bleeding towel once again highlighted the importance of on-court helpers during the Australian Open. Kaigeros chose not to make the ball boy handle a towel that had his blood on it during their third round match, instead walking it all the way to the back of the court himself. However, Kaigeros was given a time violation by umpire Renaud Lichtenstein because of the extra time that action required, causing an angry outburst from the Australian. Kaigeros stated that his hand was squirting blood and he did not want the ball boy to have to carry his bloody towel, which to me only seems fair enough, but it doesn't seem like the umpire was too happy with this decision, although I'm sure the ball boy was, and Karogia saved the ball boy from a definitely unwanted job. Federer versus a spectator. On this last one, I'm breaking the rules a little bit, but it's such a fascinating story that I felt compelled to include it. Grigor Dimitrov allowed a young spectator to play a point in his place during a 2015 exhibition match against Roger Federer. While Fed didn't seem to be taking it seriously, the little legend delivered a spectacular lob to the baseline, causing the crowd to explode. The match consisted of a few back and forth balls until Federer came close to the net and heated the ball over at which the ball boy hit a lobbed ball over Federer's head and won the match. It was a spectacular event to witness, with the nicest part being the children's smile and delight. Not a slave. Despite the fact that ball kids are a common sight at tennis tournaments around the world, the scope of their duty to assist the players is unclear. The tipping point seems to be reached during this year's Open qualifying competition. Elliot Benkatrit, a French player, was denied his request for a ball girl to peel a banana for him. Benkatrit told CNN that the umpire, John Blum, told him that the ball girl was not his slave and that he should handle the situation himself. And he's right. It's critical that the ball boys and girls understand their roles, and peeling a player's banana isn't one of them. Ball kids frequently find themselves in the firing line or in a fight with the players, whether for good or negative reasons. However, this does not appear to deter other children as there are always eager children willing to take on the task. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on any new and upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.